everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, Tobias Myers. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. So digging in, Richie Palacios. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Oh. And another ball. Ahmed Rosario next to bat for Tampa. And a pitch. There's a strike. On oh, this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand hitter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field nine. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. in there strike one Diaz over at second Palacios at first with no outs swing and a ball lifted left field Fraley sizes this one up makes the grab Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Jose Siri. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Off 
the plate and one and one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. At the belt and fires. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Runners at first and second with one gone. High fly ball out towards left field. That one is back. And that ball is gone. A three run shot. It's his eighth home run of the year, and they take the lead. It's 3 nothing. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Harold Ramirez batting with one down one takes a strike. Sometimes pitchers work him backwards starting with the breaking ball but it's a tricky approach. He almost wants to bait you out there to throw that stuff to start the at bat. One down base is empty. And it stays fair. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. And here is that one to first. Nope, and he foul. grabs it foul. Kicks and deals. Runner takes off on the ground to third. Tosses across the first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Curtis Mead next to him for the Rays. And a base hit up the middle. Coming home. Now a long throw home. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs and a base hit to the outfield. But an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. here in Milwaukee and pitching here today Zach Littell well he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season I mean coming in guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s so many times there's some bad luck but then also there's just a little miss here or a little miss there that changes the outcome of the at bat we'll see if he can be consistent and make adjustments quickly in this one now the left fielder Sal Fraley it gets down base hit Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. And now it's William Contreras. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Fouled off. He was late. Fralick gets his lead at first with nobody out. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. Around third. 
He'll score, and now just a two-run deficit. Well done, drives in the run. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. Willie Adamas stands in. Down the middle for a strike. 0-1. Oh 0-1. Oh Man at second. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. 0-2 oh now. Left field, way back there. That's back. Gone! So he goes yard to left. His fourth home run of the season. And this game is tied. It's 3-3. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Next is the designated hitter, Joey Weimer. Swing and a miss as he was late that time can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning tied up here in the early going that one finds the zone and that is strike two all one there that's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it. One down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This is a ball club that can really slug. Lots of homers, lots of extra base hits. And Chris, that, of course, a huge part of success in the standings for this group. Well, if you're going to be successful in today's game, you've got to be able to hit the ball over the fence. Just defensively, very hard to find the holes. And when you're talking about pitchers, you know, coming out of the bullpen, throwing 95 oh. and above, very difficult. It's hard to string together two, three, four hits to score those runs. So definitely critical to hit those homers, get the extra base knocks, and that's exactly what they've been doing. Still only one out here in the inning. On the ground to the left. And that chance handle throws the first. Yeah. That's out number two. The power is such a big part of the success that we see with the good teams in the league right now and even in the postseason. Up now for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Siri makes the catch, and that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We're tied now with three apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Second inning set to go. And now, Jose Siri. Jose well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now the catcher up to hit, Rene Pinto. And that one fouled off. 
He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Deal one. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Clyde Washington doing the umpire behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Here comes a pitch. Swings and lines one towards the gap. No one can get there. It falls in. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Yandy Diaz now. He let off the game with a single and then came around to score. And that's in there at the knees. On the ground to first, boots it. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. Richie Palacios, the next to hit. Singleton scored his first time. Catches the zone. Going along. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. That one misses. And now it's even one and one. There's a strike. It's a good change up to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Fights it off. You'll see another. Man, it's second. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Two down. Ahmed Rosario now at the plate. Fly to left his first time. There's a strike. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Perkins makes the grab and that'll end the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Rays four and the Brewers three. Back here at American Family Field. We head to the bottom of the second. Up now for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. The wind of the pitch. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Ripped into left for a base hit. Off to a good start for the leadoff down. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. No outs. Runner at first. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewers. Runner on the goal. Pitch outside. 
throw save. That's a stolen base. Late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That one a little bit high, and it's two and one. With the go-ahead run at the plate, bottom half of inning number two. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the right-hander deals. Just off the outside edge. And the count is filled up. Jackson Chorio up next for the Brewers. Three, two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got on the chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance to make the contact with that pitch. Here's the rookie right fielder, Jackson Chorio. Swing and a miss, strike one. Tying run in scoring position as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And yes, he did. He went around. That one missing inside. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Stays alive. The next offering misses. The count now okay. two and two. Three and chase that time. Sal Freeman in the on deck circle. Payoff pitch. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. He let off the bottom of the first with a single and then came in to score. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And another ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Right through there for a strike. The 2-1. And that's outside. William Contreras waiting for a turn at the plate. Man on second, two down. So now two on and two outs. So up next, William Contreras. One for one with a double and a run score. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0 1. Just missed. Terang, the lead runner at second. Fralick on at first with two down. 
just off the inside edge. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Just off the inside edge. Willie Adamas would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Kicks and fires. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Bull. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Two outs, bases full. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. He's already homered here in this one. That one misses. That's five straight. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. One hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Around third. The relay. He's in there. Three run score. It's six to four. Down one and he clears the bases. Clutch it back to give him the lead by two. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So two down and the batter now, Joey Weimer. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And that one wrapped foul. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Swings through that one. Through that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swung on, belted. Siri going back on it. Say goodbye to that one. His first homer of the year, and they add a pair. It's 8 4. playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure And now Kevin Cash out of the dugout and ready to make a move to the bullpen. Zach Littell done for the afternoon. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So they turn things over to the righty, Kevin Kelly. So two away with nobody on. Gary Sanchez up now for the Brewers. First pitch just misses. Two out spaces empty. The one one. That one hammer, but pulled foul. And they'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Right-handed reliever. He goes down looking. But they take the lead thanks to a five-run outburst. 
We play two full. It's the Brewers eight, the Rays four. All set for the start of the inning at the play. Isak Paredes. The right hander back to work. And that's outside. Well, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. And the pitch. Fastball in for a strike. And the count one and one. And another ball. And the righty deals. Inside just missed. And he walked him. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. Man at first, Harold Ramirez at the dish. One for one with a single so far. Out towards right center field on the move. But not going to catch up to this one. And one away in the top of the third. Well, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. Seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. Austin Shenton next to hit for the Rays. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Good eye right there. No, he's really working him away this at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity try to get a rollover something on the ground stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Here's a one one. And a foul ball. Two balls. Two In the dirt. Safe at second. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Really good read by the runner there. His secondary lead, he anticipates the trajectory going down and gets a really nice jump up to second base. Now he's in scoring position. He's taken away the double play opportunity. Two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Man at second. Foul ball. Another 2 2 upcoming. Left hand batter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a ball popped up. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good now coming in, but so base. hard to get on top of as a hitter. Mead. Now it's the second baseman, Curtis Mead. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Ah! 
And base hit around third. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs and a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. And we're back, set for the bottom of the third. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Blake Perkins. And he deals. That one's in there. Strike one. Kelly, in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a slider, and he works in a changeup. 0-1 now. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. a swing. Appeal down to third. He did not go around. And a pitch. This is off the inside. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. Started after it. Appeal to third. And that's a strikeout. Ed Drummond says he won around. The batter, number two. This is Bryce Terang. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one off the mark. One and oh. And delivers outside. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. One down, base is empty. And there's a ball. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Righty to the plate. Pitch is in there. And now three and one. And he pumps it a strike. Cancel. And that's you, ball man. four. Third baseman, number three. Next for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. Struck out swinging his first time. In there for strike one. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. And a pitch. Got him looking for the strikeout. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Now that is. So two down now, and here is Jackson Chorio. He's 0 for 1. That one outside, ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And another ball. Throw to first. Terrain back on a dive. Right hander kicks deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Brewer strand one, but they still lead it by a count of eight to four.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. Jose Siri. The wind and the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field has a beat on it. And a quick out number one. Ooh, he was all over that first pitch yeah, fastball. Just barely missed it. Renee man, this guy was ready to hit. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Rene Pinto. And he's already singled in this game. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And, and chase that time. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. That one drifts inside. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Back there. That's not coming back. He'll circle the bases. It's 8-5. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Tobias Myers departs. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen, Elvis Piguero. He's into the game with the bases empty. So the Rays batting order turns over. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. And it's fouled away. One out, base is empty. One Not two. even close there. Yeah, the count one and two. That's Slider misses one. outside. One down, base is empty. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Just off the outside corner. And now it's three and two. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. The pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The left field, number one, Richie. Richie Palacios getting ready to hit. That one fouled off. Man at first, one away. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Joel Piamps, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off.
Well, with two strikes, you want to stay back long enough for that breaking ball, but he handled a fastball slightly elevated. Good job by the hitter right there to spoil it away. In the air, left field. Nabs it, two away. Ahmed Rosario next to hit for the Rays. Ball one, no strikes. Slapped foul. Out to short. Oh, wow. nice play from his backside. And it beats him. What a play. The Rays creep closer thanks to the homer. It's now 8-5. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Chris Davinsky. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So the batting order turns over. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. The pitch. That one is upstairs. In for a strike. And a count one and one. Line drive. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now back. The first baseman. William. Digging in. William Contreras. And there's a strike of the outside corner going on. Runner at first with no outs here. That oh. one missed. Action in the pen one down one. there. Tyler Alexander, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Righty delivers. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Sizing this one up. Siri makes the grab. Now batting, shortstop, Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas digs in now. He's already homered in this game. In the air, foul off first. And they get Adamas for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Now back, the designated hitter, Joey Weimer. Man at first, Joey Weimer up now for the Brewers. One for two. In for a strike. One one. Center field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Sanchez in the box again. Takes a strike. 
First and second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. And that one hammered. Siri going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Brewers strand a couple. They're on top by three. Eight five. now and on the mound the closer Joel Piamps. well he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin the lockdown wins so this game has gone to plan more or less let's see if he can wrap it up here as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers Paredes leading things off and takes a strike swing and a miss and it's nothing in two I think he was sitting off speed, though. That's off the mark. Now one and two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time... A little anxious. Harold Ramirez will hit next. Oh. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. No. Just missed. The Rays trailing by three, and we're at the top of the fifth. Up the middle, Adamas. On to first, and the first two set down at the top of the fifth. Now the third base Austin Last chance for the Rays. Now up for Tampa Bay, Austin Shenton. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Two. two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. You're up there at the plate. You got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Pyams is just one strike away. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The line to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Myers with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And this one ends with the score eight to five. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.